Hello, I'm Margaret with Alabama Prepper. Thank you for watching my channel. We're going to do some more cookies today. Uh, the cookies we're going to do today are called log butter cookies. Uh, I had got this recipe off of the Pinterest and it actually called it a Dainy log recipe. Dainy log butter recipe. But anyhow, it looks delicious and it looks like uh, it would be easy to make. So if you'd like to watch me to make some log butter cookies, then we're fixing to get started. This recipe calls for uh, 3 fourths cup of salt and butter, 3 fourths cups of sugar, uh, 1 and a half teaspoons of vanilla flavor, 1, 2 cups, 2 cups of flour with salt, with a half teaspoon of salt, I've done put it in there. Uh, two cups of chocolate chips and then it calls for one tablespoon of butter softened this will go in our chocolate chips afterwards we have one egg we have to put in there and then we have our uh, finely cut chopped nuts to go in here i've got my oven preheated to on uh, 350 degrees I've got my cookie sheet back over here, so we're going to start putting this together. We're going to add our salt and butter, three-fourths cup of salt and butter. And three-fourths cups of sugar. And we're gonna add our vanilla flavoring and we're gonna mix this good. Well, let's see. One. I have to go back and look. This is the first time I've done this recipe, so I have to go back and check and make sure I put the right amount of everything in it. Okay. I'm gonna let this blend well. Oh, goodness, it's shaking the whole table. Okay, I had to pull out my old beater. Oh, that, my, this is just a metal table. And uh, that thing was rocking and rolling this table. Sorry about that. So now we've got to do, we're going to add our egg. And I always put my egg in a separate bowl because you don't ever know what it's going to look like. Okay, we've added our egg and beat it well. I'm gonna add my flour. And I have my salt mixed up in my flour.
this is some very stiff dough. Okay, of course I guess that maybe that's what it needs to be. So now we're gonna add in about half of our chocolate chips. Mix them up good. Okay, now we're gonna put them on the cookie sheet. Y'all, I will apologize for my um, mixers. My table is a metal table, and that's one thing that I will get. Give me another table, but that mixer would not go very good on it. So anyhow, these are supposed to be rolled out like logs, two inch logs, place them on the cookie sheet, I know these will be good, we put them on the ungreased, ungreased cookie sheet for, uh, and we bake them for 12 minutes, I believe. 10 to 12 minutes. And then while these are cooking, we're going to melt our other chocolates and our butter. And I think we're gonna do that probably. I'm gonna try. I know that putting it in the uh, microwave can cause it to burn. So we're gonna try to do it on a like a double boiler and see if we can get them to melt that way without, uh, without scorching them. These are supposed to look like little bakes. They may be a little bit bigger than what I wanted. Let me take a little bit of them off. We don't want great big old bakes. Some of them's gonna have a few more chocolate morsels in them than the rest of them are. I think I'll add some to this one. We don't have much. Add to him. That one's got some. Maybe we'll I got plenty of morsels down in here. They didn't it didn't mix up that well. Add a few more. My family comes in and says, my goodness, what are you cooking? They just eat, 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 eat. They enjoy all this sweet stuff that's sitting around. I don't know, I'm not sure how many. I figure this probably make about two dozen, maybe. That's what that's five, ten, fifteen. I'm gonna have just a few few cookings over this one, maybe not, but about a half a pan. So probably about two dozen is what I figure. I may try to get them all on this pan. Not gonna be that many left over. Let's see if we can move them over. Get a few more in here. One more now. There we go. Now I'm going to put them in the oven and we're going to bake them for 10 to 12 minutes.
Now we're going to see, let me melt my butter just a little bit. Okay, we're going to see, I've got hot water in this boiler. We're going to see if we can get our chocolate morsels to melt. I may have to put them in the microwave. I didn't want to. We're gonna see if we can get them to melt with this hot water. If it don't, I might have to stick it in the microwave a minute. I'm gonna stick these on the stove for just a minute and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I've let my cookies cook for about 20 minutes. Oh, so they're brown under the bottom. Not as brown as I would like them on top, but uh, I was afraid to let them cook any longer than that. So I put my uh, cooling rack down and I uh, put wax paper on it because we're gonna be using chocolate and I didn't want it to go through onto my cutting board and onto my table. So, get these off of here. Like I said, this is the first time I've done these. So, we'll all learn something new together. The pan is hot. And I also learned that it would be better to wait till you're almost through before you melt your chocolate. Now we're going to take our chocolate and put it on our cookies. It all depends on how much you want. I fixed my chocolate and I had to keep adding butter to it to keep it being moist. It wanted to kind of dry up. Look at that chocolate. We don't have enough of chocolate to do all of them or not. You could just roll some around in pecans if you don't have enough of the chocolate. But I can always go back and make some more chocolate and that ain't no problem. I have plenty of morsels. The cookies are hot so it would cause the chocolate to melt a little bit more on them so i'm trying to go ahead and do a few of these before i start doing the pecans on them okay let's add a few pecans to our chocolate These are gonna be cute. Gonna work out pretty good. See if we got enough of chocolate to finish them up. I think I'm gonna have to make some more chocolate probably. And you may know, you do cookies a lot, you may know a simpler way to do this. Um, I was just going by my recipe and I really liked them. I thought they were real cute. You don't have to put chocolate on every one of them and you can roll them in the pecans.
few more pecans. Me get much chocolate on that one. Pick a little bit more. Everything I do, I do in a hurry. I've got. I need to learn to slow down. I think I have to rush, rush, rush. Hopefully we're going to have another chocolate to finish them. There we go. We had enough of chocolate to do all of them. So this made about two dozen cookies. You can make them um, smaller than this if you don't want them this big. But anyhow, Dainy Boat Cookies. Pretty good. Hope you've enjoyed our video. If you have, subscribe to us. Like our channel. Give us a thumbs up. And thank you for watching my video.